In the previous episode, I tested the power of the Osmutans Fang, putting it to work by soloing Nex, not once, but 50 times, and in doing so, obtained full Torva, pretty much. You guys didn't actually think that I'd finish Nex without having full Torva, did you? I'm sure somebody out there needs this desperately right now. Yes! Right, we can upgrade the Armadale Crossbow now, let's go. I've had the horn now for ages, but I've just not had the shards. How many KC was that? 61 KC, and we have enough. Create a Zarek Crossbow, yes please. Oh, look at it. That is so nice. And 200 points as well. Oh! It's insane, we actually got it. Oh my god. I thought this was gonna be such a pain in the ass to get. And I got two rune swords as well. What the fuck? That has to be, I don't even know, mega rare. I didn't think we were gonna be getting this anytime soon. 68 KC. It's done. I actually can't believe it. I honestly thought I was gonna be trying to get this for the rest of the leagues. I didn't think it was gonna be coming in so fast. This is such a massive upgrade for me. The second best in slot helmet that I can have is the Inquisitor Helm with my regions, which is half the strength bonus of this. Oh, 400 points. Full Torva has been achieved. Look at it. Oh, it looks so good. And I'm totally done with next now. I have no reason to be here. Now that I've got full Torva, I'm basically a free agent now. I would really like to go to TOB. At the moment, I could really do with another like Defender. I also don't have any means of doing any mage damage outside of casting Ice Barrage. So I could do with the Sang Staff. And of course, the Scythe would be absolutely broken. We're both meleeing. We don't even need magic to be able to clear this room. On top of TOB, having a bunch of essential upgrades for me. This is unironically the best way for me to get prayer potions right now. I can come into the raid with zero and leave with over 10. It's purple, but it's not mine, of course. Why would it be? How can I compete against a scythe? Of course it's a scythe. Why wouldn't it be? Hey, make sure you like and subscribe to the video channel. Thank you. 15 kills and I've not had a purple. Finally, there is a chance this is a back-to-back -back scythe. It could happen. This is what Damon needs. I need the Scythe, he needs the Sang. To be fair, I also need the Sang. Okay. I need it anyways, but I feel bad because it's the last item that Damon needs here. Oh shit, I didn't even equip it. That's so nice. 26 Ranners and 23 Snapdragons. Wow. It's like 50 prayer pots right there. Amazing. 36 Qualms. I need these. I'm on regular strength pots right now. That is huge. Oh, let's go in my name, in my name. Anything would be nice, but if I get another Sang, that's just, that's uncalled for. Okay. The Avernic. That's okay. We will take that. That is a nice and easy upgrade right now. It's going to go with the full Torva too. There we go. Happily take that. Happily take that. Oh, my purple got sniped. My MVP as well. Oh, let's go. That's so good. Congrats. My purple. Rapier. I'm gonna go to the Barrows now because I'm only two pieces away from having full DH. Plus, I'm yet to complete any of the Barrow sets. I have been so unlucky. Okay. It's actually good. It's actually good. All we're missing now is the Aram's top and we have a full set. Let's go! We're one piece closer. Uh, all we're missing now is the Doric's Helm. Oh my god, I am actually so close. That was chest 103. What? That's back to back DH bodies. What the fuck? That's amazing. First full set of barrows. That's so, so nice. First double chest. Two helms, but neither of them are what I'm looking for. We've done 160 chests. Still no DH helm, but it's okay. Time to go back to TOB. Oh, it's my MVP as well. God damn it. Okay. That's fine. Just a car or a scythe. That's all I'm looking for right now. I'll take it. I'll take it. We're looking strong right now. I want to go and test out all of the gear that I've recently acquired back at TOA. I've not been there now for almost a week. We're doing it. We're doing a 700. I'm not entirely sure if this means that I will be guaranteed a purple, but I'm pretty sure it means that I'll be guaranteed a purple. The real test I've not missed yet. This is like night and day. 54, 54. Oh my goodness. 
These raids are so easy now. Comment down below if you remember my first week setup. Oh, it's so free now. Oh my god. 87% chance of this being purple. If it's ever white, I have got very unlucky. First TOA purple in some time. The last purple I had was the Fang, and it took me so long to get. Shadow and Ward is what I'm looking for. Okay, the Eldinus Ward. That is actually really nice for me. And the Breach of the Scarab. Okay, this is the best in slot mage shield that I can get my hands on. And while we're on the subject of getting your hands on things, I want to give a quick shout out to a very good friend of mine. This is less of a sponsor. I'm not getting paid from this. It's more of just a shout out for one of my good IRL friends. He's currently selling some of his artwork prints, each piece taking a ridiculous amount of time for him to make. And I'm sure some of you guys will really enjoy it, especially when it's themed around fantasy and gaming. You can probably take a guess where this wise wizard's from. So yeah, if you guys want to check out his artwork and possibly pick up some prints, then you can find his link down below. I'm back to TOB. I'm here with a bunch of randoms. We're probably gonna get purples though. It's in my name. All right, we'll take it. All we need now is the helmet. Yes! How many chests did that take? 173. That is a well-deserved DH helm. Get me out. Oh, the fun we're gonna have with this. We've got our fair share of barrows now. I don't know if anyone cares about this anymore, but this should be quite a few points. Adamant rank. Damn, if that ain't the coolest thing I've ever heard in my life. Right, what's that? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's nice. This relic right here is a Doric effect. My damage increases by 0.4% per hit point that I'm missing, which is also going to stack with a Doric set effect. We should be able to hit some pretty big numbers. But first, I need to shed this cape. This has been really fast, even with the fang. The only downside to this is because I'm melee relic, I have to do the entire final encounter just like it was in the regular game. That's so nice. Inferno Speedrunner, of course, it would have to be. Oh my god. Inferno Speedrunner, no luck required, nibblers be gone, budget set up, the floor is lava. Did I just complete almost everything? And of course, equipping the Inferno Cape. The Inferno Cape now belongs to me. So let's put it to the test. We're back at the tombs. We are going to test out what the DH Axe can do. It's probably not going to come as a surprise to many of you, but the DH Axe is pretty ineffective at every single monster inside of this raid, except from when you get to the final boss. I was hoping to be able to do a one down on the core, but I think Jack X have done something where you're unable to do a critical attack because for this entire kill, I didn't get a single one. We are at the Fertor of Blood. Salve Amulet Z have been obtained. This is the most melee strength that I can get. 133. Watch him pull a scythe. First TOB. <sighs> okay. I don't even know what that hit was. It went from 10.8% to dead in one shot. Oh my god. We don't even need the Executioner's Axe anymore. It's so fast. My hits aren't even showing. I don't know if they're just too big to like show up on the screen or... Like, I'm honestly not sure. 141. This is absolutely cracked. Think that because there's just so many hits on the boss right now, we have a cypher and a whip going off that some of the times my hits just being hidden. I get the XP drop, but there's, there's no hit splat on the boss. I'm assuming there's just too much damage appearing. Back-to-back -back purples sniped from me. There's no way he got it back-to-back. -back. Rapier. Oh, that's actually an upgrade for what he has right now. Let's go. Shit, 181. Right, that's a new PB. Holy shit, I just hit 198. Oh my god, I don't think we're even close to my max yet. Two hundred and eighty-five. What? I just hit a two hundred and eighty-five. What the fuck? Well, boys, 
I think that's gonna do it for me. I wasn't even sure originally if I wanted to play, but after a bit of convincing from some friends, I thought why not? I really wanted to give Leagues a fair chance this time around, and it has genuinely been a good time. Until next time boys, the next video that you'll see from me will be on the main server on my Cozy Club account, where I am currently making a Tumacan Shadow starting from level 3. Playlist will be linked down below. New video coming soon. I love you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.